Assalamualaikum and welcome to our group presentation. We are from group T and in this occasion we will present about the exponential distribution. My name is Arya Bimoda Majati Nugroho and I will start the presentation. First of all, we will go to the explanation of the exponential distribution. The definition of the exponential distribution is the distribution of time between events that occur continuously and independently at constant average rate. Exponential distribution is memoryless, which means that the past events didn't evict the distribution. It is because that the events that occurs in exponential distribution is independent between others. Exponential distribution is part of the gamma distribution, actually. So it is a special case whenever that the alpha in the gamma distribution is equal to 1. We can see in the below that it is a gamma distribution formula. The general formula of the exponential distribution is whenever the x is greater than 0, it will result the formula of 1 over beta times exponential to the power of minus x divided by beta. Or whenever the x is less than 0, it will result zero. Beta in here represent the mean of the x or the variance times two uh, of the x. Beside the general formula, we can get the exponential distribution using lambda. Lambda represent the parameter. So the formula is equals to lambda times exponential to the power of minus lambda times x. Lambda can be found by the formula of mean equals to 1 of lambda or variance equals to 1 over lambda to the power of 2. Assalamualaikum and a very good evening to Dr. Siti Mariam and my friend. So this is the example that I'm going to take for our group assignment. So the, this example is taken from the lecture notes. The lifetime t years of an electronic component is a continuous random variable with a probability density function given by ft equals to exponent negative t, where t is greater or equal to zero. Find the lifetime L, which a typical component is 60% certain to exceed. If five components are sold to a manufacturer, find the probability that at least one of them will have a lifetime less than L years. I will show the solution shortly. So here's, I'm gonna show you how to solve this question. So we know this is the probability given and we know that lifetime L is 60% probability so we can conclude that probability T then greater than L is equal to 0 0.6 60% probability is given by the relationship P T bigger than L is equals to L years uh, here's the infinity exponent negative t dt okay we solve this and we negative e negative t so we will get e exponent negative l so we know here negative uh, e negative l e negative l is 0 0.6 equals to 0 0.6 this one so we can find the value of l we can find the value of l is equals to 0 0.5 years how do we get 0 0.51 so we can put uh, put into the calculator so e exponent the power of negative x you can put whatever you want x y also can so equals to 0 
so 4x and then it will get 0.51 so we can say that here is 0.51 years assume that the lifetime of each component is independent we have p probability at least one component has a lifetime less than 0.5 years 0.51 years as as us in the question at least one has a lifetime less than at least one I mean at least one component has a lifetime less than L years which is 0.51 years so from this we can say that 1 minus P this one uh, let as we can let this as as S so P S we can say that 1 minus 0 0.6 PS is 0 0.6 from this one 0 0.6 to the power of 5 because uh, it says it if 5 components are solved so 0 0.6 is probability for at least one component is uh, that have a lifetime less than L years and 5 is for the 5 components are solved and then we will get 0 0.92 so this is the probability for at least one of them will have a lifetime than uh, less than L years so that's all thank you everyone um so number two and a very good day i bid to whoever is watching this video um First off, I'm sorry it's kind of dark in here because it's subuh and I'm recording this statistics video. Um, uh, anyways, uh, my name is Nur Aymi Jumat Wazariza and I'm from group 3 and our topic is exponential distribution. So uh, my friend Yubimo has already explained what is expo exponential distribution and my friend Shasha also has, has explained one example of exponential distribution and as for me i'll be explaining another example of exp exponential distribution and how it is memorialist so as people mentioned in his slide that exponential distribution function is memorialist which means um, whatever occurs in the past has no effect on the future probabilities so um my example is the one that I've read on the internet. Question is, let X be the amount of, uh, of time in minutes a postal clerk spent with his or her customer. This time, the time is known to have an exponential distribution with the average amount of time equal to four minutes. So the average amount of times that these clerks spend with their customers is four minutes. Um, well, based on BMO's slide, um, as you can see, the mu or the average or mean here is 4 minutes. This mu or average can also be denoted as beta. So, um, for example, in this, in this example, we want to find the probability density function of F5, which means the probability that the clerk spent five minutes with his or her customer. So the formula will be fx is equal to m e uh, m exponent to the power of negative mx or in the slide BMO has showed you guys earlier, the um, formula can also be denoted as one over b e to the power of negative x over b. Um, this m is actually one over mu, the average, one over the average, the mean, or can also be one over beta. If you guys can see here, this is this equation is actually the same thing. So M here is um, known as TK parameter because we've been we are dealing with exponential graph. We must have the DK parameter. So this is the graph. Um, you know, this one is the graph for the second one, but yeah, this how the graph should look like. So um, we'll, uh, we are back here. 
So our decay parameter is 0 0.25. This is 1 over 4. And the distribution notation is x uh, exponent m, which m is 0 0.25 that we've calculated earlier. Okay. Um, so we would like to find the, um, you know, the probability that's the function of f5, which is um, according to the formula 0 0.25 exponent to the power of negative 0 0.25 times 5. So the answer is 0 0.072. Next, we would like to find the average the average time that this clerk um, spent with the customers, which is the probability, the probability for the average time, which is four, um, between 4 and 5. So um, probability of 4 less than x, but uh, x less than 5. Can also be denoted as probability of x equal um, less than five minus probability of x um, less than four. So um, as you can see here, this the CDF um, formula of x less than any x is equal to one minus exponent to the power of negative m x m is the one that we've calculated earlier, which is zero point two five. So first off, we would like to find the px uh, probability of um, x less than 5, which is 1 minus exponent to the power of negative 0 0.25 times 5, which is 0 0.7135. And same thing goes for x less than 4. And here, we can um, find the probability that the clerk spend the clerk spend a time which is four to five minutes for which each of the customer. So 0 0.7135 minus 0 0.6321 is equal to 0 0.01814. So the the things that I've explained earlier was on how to find the um, probability. So next I'll show on why this probability um, exponential probability exponential is set to be memoryless. So memoryless is, um, memori when something is more memoryless, it, it uh, states that whatever occurs in past has no effect on future probabilities. So this is the memoryless property for the probability of X is larger than R plus T. And then with this condition, X um, must be bigger than R. So um, it is equal to P, um, the probability of X large than T for both R and T must be equal or greater than zero. So uh, to make, to show you guys how actually memorialists work, this is the example. So if it said that if five minutes has elapsed since the last customer arrived, the probability that more than one minute will elapse before the next customer arrives. So this is how we will write the memorialless property. The r is equal to five, and t, which is the additional minute, is equal to one. So as you can see, this is how we write, just like the one that I've written in the memorialless property. So the probability will be probability x greater than one, which is um, is equal to exponent to the power of negative zero point five one times one, which is um, zero point five one. Or oh, this one is supposed to be zero point two five. It's my mistake. Sorry. Um, so it will be equal to zero point zero six six zero six five. So. If we refer to the example above, we have calculated the we have calculated the probability um, the clerk has spent more than um, the clerk has spent five minutes with the customers. So um, in this section, we will find the probability that the clerk will will spend at least another three minutes with the customers. So the total minute will be seven. So this is how we write it. P x is equal to um, is greater than four plus three, which is seven, and x is equal uh, is larger than four, 
which is p x is larger than four, x larger than four, a seven, x larger than four, and t here is three, so p x larger than three. So we want to find the probability of p x larger than three. Therefore, we need to find the probability of p x less than three, and one minus the probability will get. 0.4724. So um, as you can see, the, the probability here does not depend on whatever has, whatever has happened in the example that I've shown above. Um, with that, I hope this will satisfy um, your understanding or this will help you to grasp the concept of exponential prob prob probability. Sorry, babbling, kind of babbling. Um, with that, thank you. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.